Hello everyone, Maurice and welcome to Tanks Invest, talk about investing, finance, pressure development. For today's video, eight times only. The investment going to talk about today will be Ethereum ticket ETH. First, just want to say good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, depending on where you are. As of Tuesday this morning, around 9.16 a.m. as I'm recording, Ethereum is currently trading like the $1,981, now about 2.36%. In respect to the release of the CPI report that came out 8.30 a.m. this morning, I took a high level read, right? And based on the synopsis that I have for the report, basically it's leaning more toward the negative sentiment, if you may. Okay, so the CPI report, the consumer price index, the inflation climbed by 5.4% in this year through June per the Department of Labor, right? And the biggest differentiator that I saw in the report comes from the used cars and trucks increase in price. Increased by more than 5% in the report in May, which is the largest year over year gain since 2008. Okay, and I think one of the catalysts that's driving this surge in price for used cars is due to the lack of supply for aluminum parts for cars due to the chip shortage that we've been experiencing. And also with respect to the tension that we've been experiencing between US and China on the trade tension, right? In addition to that, the index rose about 0.9% from May to June, faster than the 0.6% month over month increase the prime month, and far more you know, than the expectations that a lot of the industry economists is expected. So definitely a negative sentiment there. Right? In addition to that, if you adjust the CPI index by stripping out the volatile food and fuel costs that we've been kind of hovering around because of the recovery of the economy going forward, CPR also climbed about 0.9% over a month, up from the 0.7% from the prior month, okay? So overall, I think on a high-level perspective, investors like us, lawmakers and central banks, officials are obviously watching closely with, this, with respect to this inflationary pressure that we're experiencing or foreshadowing. It seems like the quantitative tightening or the tapering is definitely slowly gradual in effect, right? But we're doing this in more of a slowly rip off the bandage type of perspective rather than immediate rip off perspective, right? So we're also facing this conundrum between, you know, the mismatch of demand and supply as the economy rebounds, you know, with respect to, you know, as the price increases quickly, you know, if the consumer's wages, right, if our wages, our pay, does not keep up, right? And if the Feds decide to taper too suddenly, right, it could subsequently have an extremely negative affectation to the stock market, but also at the same time to the crypto market, okay? So this is something that we've been expecting with respect to the quantitative easing that we've been having, right? This is the reason how we're able to get the stimulus checks that we've been getting on a monthly basis. This is the reason why the corporate companies in the U.S. have been able to be sustained for the one and a half years so far. So the feds have been using this uh, cheap money policy by printing money to keep the money circulating. So now they want to pull back. Obviously, we'll have some anti-correlation effect directly to the equity market on a short-term perspective because it's necessary for us to not further depreciation the U.S. dollar, right? So it seems like today is going to be a, a negative day on the equity side, right? So which will have some anti-correlation effect to the crypto side. So I'm going to go through a technical analysis to see how we trend going forward with respect to Ethereum, right? And how the anti-correlation with respect to the crypto market. Do we see more of a sell-off? Do we see more of a pump going forward ahead of the summit and also with respect to the August 4th London Fork debut and also with respect to FOMC meeting that we're expecting on the 28th as well. So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. All right, so moving on to the technical analysis for Ethereum ticket ETH, I'm recording at 9.20 a.m. on the Eastern time, right? Currently trading out $1977, down about 2.55%. Let's take a look at the equity market real quick, shall we? On the SPY, I think, you know, we are really close to a sell-off coming uh, based on the chart is set up right now with respect to a negative report that we just got today. Um... It seems like with respect to RSI, we're highly overbought right now. And with respect to the stretch of the MACD line right now, we are basically bound for re like basically a reversal right now. I think the next level leap down would be somewhere around like the 425. That's the first level of resistance. And then going all the way down to the 415. If we have even more of a negative sentiment around the market today, 
or in the next couple of weeks from now. And with respect to the Nasdaq, comparable to it, we are pretty much overstretched at the moment on the RSI, highly overbought. We are slowly fusing to get on the MACD. So if we cross, we're going to have a major sell off coming for the Nasdaq side as well. So I don't, I'm not, I don't want to financially advise you. But I think it's logical if you want to short the Nasdaq or the SPY right now. Because the chart is telling you that it's highly stretched up. And with respect to the inflationary pressure that we're going to be expecting, um, it's going to be gradually happening further and further because we are slowly opening up the economy. So inflation is something that is, you know, an important factor for us to trigger as we slowly revitalize, right? So that could subsequently trigger more sell-off coming. So selling off today on the equity side wouldn't be illogical to me, right? And that will subsequently drive up Ethereum to go up from here today. Okay, so let's take a look at Ethereum real quick. You can see that with respect to Ethereum, we sold down a little bit earlier today. We were, I think at one point last night, around 2 a.m., I checked the chart earlier. We were down all the way to like the $1960 level. So I'm not... Um, again, I'm not a wizard, but that's based on the resistance level that I've identified previously per the technical analysis that we've identified, right? So it seems like today we should be experiencing some green pressure across all commodity assets, including gold as well, or even aluminum as well. So Ethereum is one of those safe haven assets as well, comparable to gold, right? Or silver, if you may. So I think today we have a propensity to actually leap up, right? With respect to RSI, we are pretty much like on a more, more of a neutral zone right now. But something that's kind of uh, iffy going on right now with respect to the MACD, we are slowly crossing, right? So because of the fact that today was a uh, you know, negative day for the equity market, but positive day for the crypto market, I do foresee us to actually retesting back up, going back above the 2000, right? Which is the firm consolidation level. We will probably go to the 2000. Or we might actually struggle to get above 2000 and kind of hover from there and consolidate from there um, because of the fact that you know we, sh we should see some anti-correlation effects from the equity market despite yesterday the equity market was across the board relatively green yesterday. Uh, so the next leap up would be somewhere around like the $2,050 like I mentioned, right? So I actually bought at $2,050 yesterday. It was a logical level to buy in, but we broke through. We went all the way to the $2,030. $30, and then now we're leaping down to the next resistance level, the 1966, right? Do we see more selling pressure to like to 1900? I think for, for us in the near term, like for today, or, you know, especially ahead of the summit coming up, um, I don't foresee that to be happening. We might actually get there by maybe Friday or Saturday because of weekend affectation, depending on how the media affectation is going to be shaking out this coming days, you know, within this week. Um, but ideally, we should be going back up to uh, close to about like the $2,000 level and contingent on how negative is today, right? If we have a really negative day today across the whole spectrum, we should be going up to the $2,150 as a leap up because that's the level that we have identified here. So 2000 2050, 2150. So those are the levels that we should be looking out for. Um, do I see a reversal coming today? I don't think so because of the negative report, right? But you that's a two sides of the coin, right? Because if you are thinking more of a long-term perspective, right? Um, you know that inflation is something that is expected. We know that it's going to happen eventually. You need to incur for us to revitalize the economy, right? So you could even either think this is a positive thing because the price is increasing, but the price has increased so dramatically today that some of the numbers that we've identified in the report, in a short-term perspective, is definitely going to lead more like a 65% of a sell-off and the, than the rest, right? So I think today we, we should be seeing a green day in the crypto side, and we will see how that goes as the market opens in four minutes from here. And I will keep an eye out on throughout the day. And I'll probably do another video later today to see how we're going going forward. All right, just to recap all the numbers and technical analysis. Again, right, we are at the attractive level of the $1960 level, right? Because of the fact that today the report was relatively negative in the short-term perspective. So based on investor sentiments, 
you know, most investors are thinking more of a short-term perspective. They want to swing trade this, right? So I do see some sell-off today on the on the equity side, which is going to should pump up the crypto side. So for us to leap back up above two thousand dollars, you know, to hit around like the two thousand flat number, and then two thousand five hundred wouldn't be surprising to me today. Um, but you know, with respect to the level right now, should we be buying it? I I don't mind actually buying it now, right? Uh, for you to further dollar cost average at the level that we are right now ahead of the three market catalysts that we'll be expecting on the 21st, right? The summit with respect to the uh, FOMC meeting on the 28th, which is the subsequent Wednesday. And then on the 4th, which is the London 4th debut, you know, transitioning from Ethereum to Ethereum 2.0, right? So with respect to the level, if you're buying at the 2050, which is the level I actually bought in um, not too long ago, yesterday, uh, contingent on 20% adoption, 9%. 1,800, 4.8 times your money. All right, so that's it for today. With respect to my technical analysis on Ethereum ticket ETH. Hopefully this uh, synopsis of the CPR report was helpful into understanding how we should be maneuvering through the risk profiles going forward. And you know, please feel free to hit me up if you have any questions or that thing wasn't clear that you would like me to further clarify. And please hit the like button, subscribe, and also the bell notification. I will try for the next coming up. Take care. Bye.